Howdy, folks. Uh, before we start Scott Shelby's section here, as was foretold, I did do a little bit of research into the RE and Trypto relationship, and it is pretty much as I thought. Uh, I'll put a little bit of stuff from the Heavy Rain wiki up here uh, that is spoiler-free. There's a lot more information that is not spoiler-free, but I can't give you that. But essentially, yeah, it is suggested that uh, RE, due to it being experimental, can cause some addiction or obsession. Uh, remember Norman's score in Ball being 20,000? The dude's spending a lot of time on an experimental thing that may be causing some physical and mental damage. Uh, definitely a thing, and it's suggested that perhaps Trypto, Tryptocaine, is, uh, and if you look at the name Trypto, of course, you know, having a sort of like, I think like a reuptake inhibitor kind of, uh, prefix and the suffix being cane, like a, like an anesthetic or, you know, painkiller type deal, uh, may be in fact used to, uh, you know, alleviate the pain and damage that is being caused, but, um, uh, it in and of itself has some problems. At the very least, it seems addictive. And uh, pretty clearly from the way that Norman considers that, uh, he considers it a problem because he's trying not to take it. He's pr trying pretty damn hard to avoid it. You know, his, his reaction is not that of one who's you know, doing healthy use. His, the, the reaction is one that is, you know, he's, he's, he's fucking up. He, he's, he's a junkie to some extent it may not be his fault per se but you know he, he may view it as necessary to fucking constantly use Ari to focus himself or some bullshit you know he's he's obsessed with the case and it doesn't show in the same way that it does with Blake I think he's he's obsessed just like Blake is but you know he, he he's more he's more clean spoken about it you know he's just fucking himself up <laughs> So, I thought you might be interested in that, since that's one of the things in the game that's really not very clear. Um, and as you can see from the wiki, it's not clear at all. There is some stuff with endings and such that tells you more about it, but we can't discuss that. And uh, we can at the end of the series, maybe. Let me go ahead and get those off the screen, though. And let's resume. Huh. It's an antique shop, I think. Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Manfred's Antiques. No one in the store. Might be somebody in the back room. There's a typewriter. Hmm. What was that meeting with Charles Kramer at the golf club really about? You know what it was why about. Why is he so worried about me investigating his son? <laughs> you know why. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. So now we've got multiple possible killers. I was crazy to let her come with me. I was trying to help out, but she just gets in the way. I'll have to talk to her later. <laughs> but yeah, we've got we've got uh, Kramer. Go in the store. We've got Ethan Mars. Somebody in the back room. We've got a possible third lead that uh, Norman's looking into. Oh, hey, there you are. How you doing, man? Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Man must be ne very nearly blind and deaf. This is Scott. Oh, yes, of course. Hmm. Well, it seems like we know him. Good to see you. How long is it well, been? I guess we oh, must buy stuff here to get years, that I private guess. eye <laughs> image going. At my age, time means nothing anymore. I I repair clocks, but wow. I try to forget about time. Well, how about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. Uh huh. Uh, this is Lauren. She's a she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, hello. lady. Well, this this calls for a celebration. 
I'm just the thing. Wait there. I, I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Uh, did you? Okay, old nice man. Nice to see Manfred again. Just like old times. Huh. Just like old times. It's the oldest connection with Scott we've seen. Do an old man a favor, would you, Scott? Tell him to call back this afternoon. Okay. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. All right. Sure. Wonder who is calling. I'm sure it doesn't matter. Bottle wow. of scotch. Yeah. To old friends. Ding. Marvelous. I guess our lady friend does not uh, indulge. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Here you go, man. Let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter, oh, sure, please? I'll get it. Yeah, sure. My eyes are beginning to fail me. Magnifying glass, magnifying glass. Here you go. Ah. We got our private eye holding a magnifying glass. <laughs> there are gods. <laughs> there is a god. Thanks. The trope has finally well, come all the way true. Envelope has to say for itself. It says, you're a piece of shit. Wait, Royal what? Royal <laughs> five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Damn. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Damn. Yes. An expert. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Is that rare? These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. I'd say... Many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or, or in their cellar. Hmm, clients? Anyone bought one? Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. At least the ones who pay. <laughs> <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Well, yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if Our lady friend is making all hurry, kinds of weird faces over there. I have a there. list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, Fantastic. that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. Cool. How nice of you. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. I mean, you know, it's it's a weird way to look at it, but hey. That's the kind of boots on the ground, private eye investigating we love, right? Uh, Blake would appreciate this kind of investigation, huh? Maybe so. Jesus, that clock is terrifying. <laughs> Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's going to be disappointed. I guess he doesn't feel for their odds, huh? The killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. Been a, been a while since Manfred went into his office. Let's take a look. All right. Yeah, it has been a while, hasn't it? I mean, he's an old man. He, he may move slowly. Manfred. Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police car will be there in a few what minutes. What the fuck? I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? What the hell? He called the police. Oh, my God. He's dead. Oh, God. Poor old man. Scott? What the fuck? Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be his scapegoats. We gotta get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were uh -huh. just when it happened. 
That's Look, enough. We're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. Well, so what do we do? You run. Jeez, it, it's the cops. <laughs> Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. You better work fast. The police are going to be here any minute. Magnifying glass. Fairy. What are you doing, Lord? What? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. Why is the game frozen? <laughs> Why is the game freezing? These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. True. We gotta get out of here fast. That's fine. We're gonna do what we need to what do. do. We gotta remember. All right, Scotch glass. Come on, move. Get out of my way, bitch. <laughs> what? Don't get that, Scott. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I gotta steer these damn tank characters. All right. We didn't touch the bottle. We just just touched the glass. We should be fine. I think. What about this glass on the right? I don't know if anyone touched that. I don't know why it's here. I don't think she drank, but I'm gonna clean it anyway. Where's the magnifying glass? Is it over there? Magnifying glass is over there. I don't believe we touched the bottle, but I might have time to grab it real quick. We'll leave it. I'll come back to it if I have time. All right, let's get the fairy. Fairy, 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 fairy. Where the fuck is the fairy? She was over here, right? Is that it? Yep, that's it. Real small. I mean, we touched the door. I don't know if that matters. Let me see. Let's see if the game thinks that matters. Sure does. Game! I'm sorry. What game? Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Oh my fucking god, game. I'm hitting- I- I can't make it any more up or down than this. I don't know what the fuck you want from me. Fucking game, man. Uh, what else did we touch? We touched Manfred's shirt, but I don't think that matters. Let's go ahead and- I think we have time to get the glass, so let's get the glass just in case. Okay, he is keeping his prints off that. I was gonna <laughs> bitch him out for that. I think we should be good then. I don't think we touched anything Scott, else. Are you gonna be much longer? The police will be here any second. I'm almost finished. Are we not done? Quick, gotta find everything Lauren and I touched since we came in here. Did I miss something? The glasses. The telephone. Telephone. What else? Forgot the telephone. 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 All the clocks ticking. You're almost out of time. Ah. <laughs> We're done. We're done, right? Please will be here any second. Gotta get out now. We're done, right? Are we done? Let's leave. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Yep. Yep. Sure did. Think so. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. I'm concerned at his answer. Come on, let's go. <laughs> did I miss something? Ah, uh, when he leaned over to look at the typewriter, I, I guess I missed that. Fuck. So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Fuck. Correct? Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. I thought he just looked at it. I didn't realize he touched it. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay? No! I won't do it. You can't make me. Welp. Why is this well, police well, station such a lack Scott of frames? Shelby. You in trouble again? No. Wrong time, the, the wrong police place. officer pops into you know reality. Like. Don't sweat it. I'll take care of it. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. Huh. 
Okay. Are you on to anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you'd tell me about it, wouldn't you, Scott? Sure. <laughs> sure. Why do I feel like they're desynced? I think the frame lag in these police stations, like scenes, is actually screwing with the uh, the voices. I'm taking you home. This the is getting sinking. way too dangerous. No way. I'm your partners, remember? We had a deal. Reason. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. I want to find my son's killer. You're not going to stop me. I'm annoyed. You're going to be a good girl. You're going to go <laughs> home and let me get on with my investigation. <laughs> you asshole. Stop the car. What? Stop the fucking car. What the fuck, you crazy bitch? <laughs> there were not a lot of sound effects with that. If you're not gonna help me find the bastard who killed my Johnny, I'll do it on my own. Okay, good luck. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. <laughs> I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. Get out. Let her back. Laura! You're being an asshole, honestly, dude. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing... Nope. Miss him. Miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. I don't know if it would be entirely appropriate appropriate to caress her as the game gave me the option of say, of doing. A hug might not have been the worst, but I mean, you know, I don't know if she was in the mood. <laughs> Just, I don't know, none of that seemed appropriate. Except for the option we picked. I guess we're going to continue for this episode. Oh shit, we got to kill a guy. Okay. No remorse. No regrets. Murder. This is a really interesting situation because I wonder how this would pan out in court if he saved his son but killed someone in the process. Yeah. What do you want? Oh, fuck it. Oh, hold X. I'm sorry. I'm I holding X, game. Times that I don't want any what? Oh, of mine. damn it, not B. If you want to score, man, you got to fucking. Why am I holding all these buttons? Hey, take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Bunny? Don't Guy seems like need. a bit of a sleaze at the very least. Sure, we can make a deal, huh? Gosh, I'm gonna blow your brains out, you Fucking son of a bitch! Ethan. You, you fool, Ethan. Come into my house and steal my dope? You're gonna be shooting up in town, motherfucker! <laughs> motherfucker! Oh, Will you stop fucking moving? <laughs> Ethan, be, be fast. Move with the speed of dope fiends. <laughs> We're on the other end of the chase scene now. Oh shit, I didn't know I was supposed to time that. Almost hit the wrong button there. This is a very easy place to get killed, I'm sure. Do your body. I can... 
The game didn't give me an option there to actually see him first. <laughs> uh, man's got a kid. Man's got a kid. Hold it, man. I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These my girls, see? This one's Sarah. <laughs> and a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please. You know what's got to happen. Please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm a father, too. But I have no choice. <clears throat> So again, who receives the picture here? Yep. I wonder if, uh, <laughs> if I'd put the gun away, if I could have somehow convinced him to take a picture looking dead. <laughs> who knows, right? In the gun grip. All right. All right. Hit it harder. Got one more left after this. Sean, not doing so well. Where are my letters? Wow, only like two letters there. Shit. Wonder if that's enough to make a guess. It was a 523 Hoover Roosevelt or something? I don't know. I saw an H and a V, or an H and an O, I guess. Hmm. Some poor kid. Some poor kid's probably going to find their dad. <laughs> All right, now that we've murdered someone, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Woo! Keep the train going.